Hi everyone, I'm Mark Brackett. Welcome to the Dealing with Feelings Strategy of the Week. Today's strategy is called reframing. We learned about this strategy on the webcast episode with Dr. James Gross. I think some people feel as soon as they have a negative emotion, they need to run away or change it. And I think that's worth challenging because I think some negative emotions are telling us something really important. And instead of quickly trying to change it, we want to dive in and better understand what that emotion is telling us about the situation and about our goals in the moment. Reframing is shifting how you see a situation to help you manage your feelings. It's looking at a situation that caused you to feel a certain way through a different, often more kind, generous, or optimistic lens. With reframing, we can choose a more constructive way of viewing a situation, which can then change how we feel. Receiving feedback is a good example to appreciate the power of reframing. Most of us get nervous when we're receiving it. We often see feedback as criticism, which makes us uncomfortable. But what if we saw feedback through a different lens? What if we reframed it as an opportunity to learn and grow? The giver may be investing in our potential. And through this new frame, feedback can help us feel more motivated and valued. That's the power of reframing. Recently, I was scheduled to give a presentation and was warned that I might not be well received by the audience. That morning, I started saying things to myself like, what if people are really mean to you? What if they're critical? What if they disagree with me? Why do you keep putting yourself in this kind of situation, Mark? Sound familiar? Have you ever ended up in a spiral or negative self-talk situation like this? But then I realized I was going down a path that would not be so helpful for my talk. So I paused, took a deep breath, and said to myself, Mark, you can look at this through a different lens. I thought, I have the opportunity to present my work to many people who might benefit from it. This is a chance to change some minds. Imagine them learning something useful about emotional well-being. Think of the positive impact on them and the people they interact with. That's why you do this work, Mark. And with that, I felt empowered and gave my talk, which ended up going really well. Kind of reminds me of that Mark Twain quote, I've had a lot of worries in my life, most of which never happened. Now it's time for you to try it. Take a moment to think about a specific time in the last week or so when a situation caused you to feel a difficult or challenging feeling and you wished you had handled it differently. Please take a minute to clearly recall the situation. Now that you have your example in mind, try to be still and perhaps even close your eyes. Think about the specifics of the situation and exactly how it made you feel. In that moment, what kind of thoughts did you have? What did you say to yourself? How did it feel in your body? How did you respond? Now let's try to reframe it. Here's a few questions you can ask yourself to help you reframe. How might you see the situation differently? Is there another more helpful lens you might use to make sense of what happened? What is the most generous or kind interpretation of the situation you can think of? Is there a more optimistic or forgiving perspective you could take? Could there be a silver lining? You can also imagine that your situation happened to a friend. What might you say to your friend to help them see the situation another way? Now, please take a minute and write down the different ways you might reframe the situation that caused your difficult experience. What might you change? What might you say to yourself differently? Do you notice how reframing could help you to feel differently about the situation and as a result, change how you feel? You might notice that one reframing approach or phrase is particularly helpful. You can save that one for use in your daily life. Research shows that reframing is a powerful technique we can all use to manage difficult feelings. The great thing about it is that we can get better at it with practice. It's a real skill. It's like learning to play a new instrument or new language. The more we invest in it, the better we get at it. Lastly, in the comments below, I'd love to know your thoughts about reframing as a strategy. I'm also delighted to answer any questions you might have. I hope you find ways to use this strategy in your daily life. You might even explain it to your friends and family members who get stuck with their negative emotions. And on that note, let's all cheers to using reframing in our lives.